Hello to my fellow art friends. Today, this video is for you. So, one of my favorite forms of art videos to watch here on YouTube. Well, I love all art videos on YouTube, but watercolor videos, I just absolutely love. I love the free flow of watercolor. I I love the portability of watercolor. I feel like it's one of the easiest paints to travel with. So, and I also love watching videos on limited palettes. Limited palettes and in creating small palettes, which is a basically a limited palette. So Right now, what I have set up here for you today is my favorite tiny palette, and this is my also one of my limited palettes, which is also my um ceramic paint palette. And this was not actually always a paint palette. This was a food divider from World Market, like a condiment. Um, tray but I love it as a watercolor palette so I'm not sure if I'm going to cut this video down like make, speed this video up or just go with the flow and just go with the flow and go ahead on and let the video play out but anyway I'm going to start by showing you some of my most used things when I am painting with my watercolor. So I have showed you this tray here and this is my little limited palette which I created years ago. And both of these palettes contain my Daniel Smith two watercolors. And in them I have here, this is the Conecco Dome Rose. I have Hansa Yellow, Hansa Yellow Light. I'm not sure if I put the first one in here, but the first one. Okay, I have new gambles. French ultramarine. Carol Scarlet. Is it open? A little blue and my Conacodon gold, which has dried in my in the tube, and I'm so disappointed about that because I'm going to have to cut this tube open to get the rest of my paint out. So that is the color that I love to work with. Now I'm working with my limited palette. And I feel like it is way more of a benefit for you mentally to work with a limited palette because you're teaching yourself not to depend on the premixed colors. And it it brings out more of a creativity when you are mixing the colors yourself and then you kind of build up a confidence on mixing your colors up so i think to well i'll also show you this is my handy dandy gray i use my spray bottle here to wet my colors these are my pens that i like to pencils that i like to um 
sketch with and these are the Rotrins. I think this one is this one is the Rotrin. I have, I'll put my put which ones they are in the description because I can't remember right off hand. But these are my Rotrin mechanical pencils. This is the my Coronor lead holder. Now I don't um use this as much with watercolor, but I use this more during uh, graphite sketching. And this brush, this low travel water brush, I have been using for years. Love it, love it. But I think I'm going to get go and retrieve some of my other portable brushes for today. So I may or may not use all of this, but I just decided to grab a few things so I don't have to do that too much. I have my these are not the own um, portable brushes that i intended to grab they are well they're small so they could be considered um, portable brushes but these are my favorite my silver um black velvet brushes love these and I guess I'll it goes there and I grabbed extra water for painting. So what I want to do is start off with doing a few swatches from the colors that I have here. And I have some extra paper here on the side to do that with. So I figure I can do a few swatches and um, color mixing. To show how awesome it is to work with a limited palette. And I think I'm going to do that using my portable water brush. I love this set. I have always loved this little set. And it comes with a little refill bottle here. So I start off by spreading these colors. And swatching them out. My tacky glue has worn off at the bottom of some of my pants, so we will be moving around a lot. So, all of the swatching. The good thing about a water brush is you don't really have to dip your brush in water because the water is already inside of the brush barrel. And you just squeeze it a little to clean it out as you're going from color to color.
Okay, so in order to get a few color mixes, we will start with mixing. Let's go for a nice purple. And to get that, Little more ultramarine is going to deepen the color. And the more ultramarine I add, the darker the purple will get. And next, I guess I'll go with greens. And I love this. This is like a nice foresty, natural looking green. And I feel like the only way you can get the best natural looking colors is by mixing them yourself. You can go either darker or lighter this one and that is beautiful like a a limey almost not set green, but almost like a lime green. And to continue with greens, some of my favorite greens come from, oh, uh, let's see. Okay, I had to go and get some extra paper just to wipe some of that out once I fill it. Oh, and then I didn't even have it in time. Okay, so my um, I lost my train of thought. Okay, I know where I was. Okay, so some of my favorite greens come from the mixture of phthalo blue and coin gold. I love those, and we're going to do that one right now. And I'll put this down so that I don't have to keep dipping into it once I dip into the room.
Oh, what are these beautiful? And now I think that we should try adding a little. Yeah, we'll go with a little Hansa yellow here. Getting kind of more to our brown, get a little more. And what else can we go for before I wipe all of this out? This one's going here too. This one would need more red to it to um, complement the brown. And Oh yeah, I didn't have to do that, but I'm going to add a little more blue here. And this one is the um, Power Red and Ultramarine. And go for a little drop. Hands are yellow. And now we are getting close to another one of my favorite colors to mix. And add a little blue to this. Okay, so this is like a paint gray. I, I love mixing grays. And I think that's all I'm going to do as far as the color mixing and the only thing i can really think to sketch out right now is maybe a tulip i can do that right now here
try not to pull too many pencil lines because I don't like it to interfere with the paint, but Watercolor is one of the most rewarding. I get I get the most rewarding feeling painting with watercolor paints. This is one of my favorite mediums to paint with. That's Thank you.